Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Odell Lake for the Apple II. It's been a good long while since I played a game for the Apple II. Matter of fact, as of the time of this recording, it's been three years since I played the Apple II version of King's Quest II and Lemonade Stand. And unlike those first two games, I grew up with this one. I grew up with this specific version. Back during the second half of seventh grade, one of the classes that I went to had a pair of Apple II computers, complete with the two disk drives. There was always the one that used the master disk, and there was the one that you put the game in. And we had several games from Minnesota Educational Computer Consortium, or Corporation, whatever MEC means, M-E-C-C. Future Me is probably going to have to put the whole name in there. And we we had a couple of Met games, such as Wood Car Rally, Miner's Cave, Oregon Trail, Number Munchers. But this one, I remember the most. This is the one that I spent the most time with. And I got really good at the play for points mode. I would have a couple thousand points by the time my game was over. So, this game, it takes place in Odell Lake, which is a real-life lake in Oregon, in the Pacific Northwest United States. And you get to play as one of six fish, six types of fish, and you get to do fish things. You can go exploring, learn what you can eat, what will eat you, what your fish likes, what your fish doesn't like, and so on and so forth. Your actions dictate whether or not you survive. But at least with Go Exploring Mode, you have all the time in the world to pick a decision, to pick an action. With Play for Points, it's kind of like Arcade Mode or Odell Lake. You take everything you've learned with all the fish in Go Exploring Mode, and you make the best decisions while under a time limit, which gets shorter and shorter the longer you go. And you you switch from one fish to another every five turns, and the game just gets quicker and quicker the more you play it. I'm going to start with the Go Exploring mode, and I'm going to show off the six fish. I know nothing about any of these fish. The game doesn't really tell you this, but you will learn things about them. I'm going to go ahead and select Get Information. You can use either the arrow keys or the numbers, or the number keys, to pick the choice that you want. I'm not going to look at teacher information because that's just, well, I guess I could do that for an extra video, but not right now. I'm not going to look at teacher information except for maybe an extra video because, well, that's teacher lesson planning stuff. I am going to show the fish of Odell Lake first. We have six types of fish. These are the fish you will be meeting and also playing as. The blue-backed salmon, the chub, the dolly varden, the mackinac trout, the rainbow trout, and the whitefish. There's not really much in the way of high scores, so I'm not going to show off the high score list. And of course, there's how to play Odell Lake, which I will show off. How to play Odell Lake, version 1.2, because that's apparently the version number that I have. Odell Lake is a simulation game in which you take the role of a fish in Odell Lake, Oregon. You meet various forms of animal and plant life, including other types of fish. Each time you meet another animal or a plant, you must decide what to do. Your, deter your decisions determine whether or not you survive. There are two ways to play Odell Lake. Go exploring, play for points. When you go exploring, you choose the fish you want to play, you are told the names of the plants and animals you want to meet, or you're going to meet. You can take as much time as you want to decide what to do. When you play for points, the computer chooses the kind of fish you play. You are shown pictures of the plants and animals you meet, but not names, so you need to recognize and remember what things look like. And you have a limited amount of time to make each decision. That limited amount of time gets shorter and shorter the longer you play. 
Two special keys may be useful during the game. Escape key to quit in the middle of the game. Control S to turn sound on or off. I'm going to be showing off what little sound this game has. Control S means to press the S key while holding down the control key. And from here we can press escape and we are going to go exploring. And we get to learn how to play this game a little further. In this game, you play the role of a fish in Odell Lake. Your goal is to survive 11 encounters with other lake creatures. By playing the role of each fish, one at a time, you can discover the relationships between them. And I might as well mention this right now. Take notes on your encounters. You will need them when you play for points. So you can get to choose the fish you want to play. Blueback Salmon, Chub, Dolly Varden, Mackinac Trout, Rainbow Trout, and Whitefish. Again, I'm not real no I don't know anything like about the fish in real life. It's not like I'm just gonna go through Wikipedia and just go through each and every one of these unless I really want to. Which I'm probably not. I'm just going to go ahead and play as a blueback salmon. As a blueback salmon you look like this. And you are a blueback salmon. You can press shift and the question mark key for help. And you have five commands. Eat, which is E. Chase away, C. I, ignore. S, shallow escape. Or D, deep escape. So you can eat things, you can chase certain fish away in case they're a threat to your food supply, you can just leave things alone or, and just do nothing, you can escape via the upper level of the screen or you can escape via the lower, lower uh, part of the screen. So we see a group of bottom organisms ahead. I'm going to eat these and see what happens. That wasn't too bad, but it's not one of your favorite meals. So we were better off ignoring that. I'm going to in case I go silent, it's because I'm writing stuff down. I didn't do any looking things up ahead of time. I'm going to learn how to do everything here, much like I did when I was a kid in that 7th grade classroom. So, bottom organisms. We can't eat those. We're better off ignoring them. And I just saw a mosquito in my room. Just great. Just great. Fun. It'll be back. You see a mass of algae ahead. I'm going to go ahead and eat that and see what happens. Bleh. That was a disgusting meal. So... We were better off ignoring the algae as well. Other fish may be able to eat it. We can't. You see an outer head. Deep escape. Always. If you're on the shallow level. If you're on the upper level. Deep escape. If you're on the lower level, you can either ignore or deep escape. But I'd rather just deep escape regardless of which level I'm on anyway. Good idea. It won't come after you when you are so deep. The otter, you have to deep escape it no matter which fish you're playing as. Even if you're the big bad Mackinac Trout, who I will be playing as shortly, later on in this Let's Play, you want to escape the otter. The otter is one of two animals that you cannot fight off. You're better off just staying away from entirely. We'll be meeting the other one pretty soon. 
You see a group of insects and insect larvae ahead. Let's eat that. See what happens. That wasn't too bad, but it's not one of your favorite meals. Oh well. You see a chub ahead. I think we can eat the chub. Maybe. It's definitely smaller than we are. Nope, it runs away. Eating fish, even as small as a chub, isn't really your style. I wonder if we have to chase it away. More than likely, we probably have to. There is an osprey overhead. Deep escape! Otherwise, you're getting grabbed and eaten. Wise move. As long as you stay in deep water, it won't get you. Let me put deep escape in big capital letters across this piece of paper here. You see a whitefish ahead. Let me put that down here. And I'm going to chase it away. See what happens. It doesn't seem like it could be bigger than us. So we can chase it away. That was wasted effort. That fish doesn't eat the same food as you. We were better off ignoring that fish. You see a Dolly Varden ahead. I think we can chase that one off, too. Thought I better get eaten. I got eaten. You now reside in the stomach of a large predator. So for the Dolly Varden, we're better off doing the deep escape. Well, at least we'll know for next time. Remember... A Dolly Varden will eat a blueback salmon. Would you like to go exploring an Odell Lake again? Yes, I do. And I will play as a blueback salmon again. And this time, we know some things. You see a group of bottom organisms ahead. We are going to ignore that. Because we can't eat that. That's right. There are other foods you like a lot better. You see a rainbow trout ahead. Let me put rainbow trout in the notes. I don't think the rainbow trout can eat us, though. I could be wrong. I think you can chase them away. There was no need to chase that fish. It is not a competitor, so we're better off ignoring it. You see a group of insects and insect larvae ahead. Ignore. By the way, sometimes if you're playing for points and you go for something like the bottom organisms or the algae or the insects and you eat it, there's a chance that you may get caught by an angler. There's no, really no way of knowing if there's an angler there. If you think an angler is going to catch you, you can always ignore it. Sometimes it's better to just lose points than to just have a game over. Anyway, that was a good idea because it's not one of our favorite foods. We see a chub ahead. We can't chase it. Well, we can't eat it for one. Can we chase it away? We can't eat it. And if chasing it away is a waste of time, then we're better off just ignoring it. There was no need to chase that fish. It is not a competitor. So we do have to ignore the chub. You see an otter ahead. Deep escape. Always. I mean, you can't ignore if you're on the lower level, but even then I just do deep escape. You see a Mackinac trout ahead. Deep escape. Oh, no. 
That thing's going to chase me. A Mackinac trout has eaten you. You should have gone shallow. I forgot it will fall of you if you go to its level. Yes, we know a Mackinac trout will eat a blueback salmon. Let's do this again. All right. We're learning stuff. We can ignore the Mackinac. We can ignore the rainbow trout. I am going to put... Escape Mackinac Trout on the notes. And it's a good thing we ignored the Rainbow Trout because that fish won't hurt you and it doesn't eat the same food. You see a chub ahead. Ignore. We've learned after three times of doing this. I could make this a big, huge edit job. But sometimes just you just have to learn what, what to do and what not to do just by doing the going exploring mode multiple times you see a massive algae ahead you ignore that because reasons that involve this not being your favorite food basically you hate it osprey you always deep escape and the Mackinac trout ahead And let's see. I'm going to do the shallow escape. And it's a good thing I did. Good thinking. That fish might have eaten you. I would be more likely to know if to, to know when to either shallow escape or deep escape more quickly because the game's not telling me if the trout, if the Mackinac trout is coming in deep or coming in shallow. So I just have the guess. You see an otter ahead. Deep escape. D key, D key, D key. Always. You see a whitefish ahead. We're going to ignore that. Oh, I could eat that. Good. That fish won't hurt you, and it doesn't eat the same food. You see a Dolly Varden ahead. I'm going to go deep. Because we got eaten the first time. You see a group of insects and insect larvae ahead. We're eating that. Or we're ignoring that. Which one do we eat? We eat something. That wasn't too bad, but it's not one of your favorite meals. You see a group of animal plankton ahead. Now these, I think we can eat. Good move. This is one of your favorite foods. You see a group of bottom organisms ahead. You ignore that. So apparently the only thing you eat as a blueback salmon is plankton. You just ignore or escape everything else. Man, blueback salmon does not eat very much. I'm surprised these things survive. Congratulations, you survived to a ripe old age as a blueback salmon. Maybe you would like to explore Odell Lake again, but as a different fish. Would you like to go exploring in Odell Lake again? Yes. And let me put blueback salmon on here. I'm going to do the chub. And see what happens. And as a chub, well, we know what the chub looks like because we've seen it three times as the blueback salmon. It's this tiny looking thing. We're playing as this run of the mill lake chub. You see a group of bottom organisms ahead. I'm going to go ahead and eat these. More than likely, I'm going to be eating, eating non-fish things. That food was okay, but there are foods that you like a lot better. So, we can ignore these as the chub. You see a Mackinac trout up ahead. Escape. 
really? You're going to eat me? Even though I shallow escaped? Good grief. Well, in case that happens, you could ignore them, I believe. Let's go ahead and try this again. You see a group of bottom organisms ahead. We're going to ignore that because we've had to we've been told to ignore them basically. That's right. There are other foods you like a lot better. Deep escape the otter. That has already been established. You always want to run away from the otter. You see a group of insects and insect larvae ahead. Let's eat this. See what happens. I think this is the favorite food of the chub. I could be wrong. Yum! That was delicious. So we eat that. You see a massive algae ahead. I'll ignore that. Now that we know what we can and can't eat. Too bad. Normally that is one of your favorite foods. Aw. I could have gotten 10 points if this were played for points mode. You see a rainbow trout ahead. And I can't... Oh, cool. If you press the question mark button, you can actually learn about what you are approaching. Rainbow Trout, Samuel Gerd Gardneri, up to 40 pounds, up to 35 inches. Shallow water near the shore. Oh, blah, I need to read this better. Rainbow Trout, Salmo Gardneri, weight up to 40 pounds, length up to 35 inches. Habitat, shallow water near the shore. Comments, also known as Steelhead Trout, native to Odell Lake, where it is prized as a game fish. And you get to learn about all the things. And if I press escape and then choose not to quit, I can just go back. I should read that for another video. Rainbow Trout Ahead. Um, hmm. I should probably escape that. Or ignore that. Or run away from it. Maybe I have to ignore it. That was a waste of effort. That fish will not hurt you. So the rainbow trout. We can ignore the rainbow trout. You see a Dolly Varden ahead. Something tells me that will eat me. It will. Great. Remember, a Dolly Varden will eat a chub. Would you like to go exploring an Odell Lake again? Yes, I do. You see an otter ahead. We already established that we need to deep escape every time we see the otter. And I know this is getting a little boring, but again... This is how you figure out what to do and what not to do. And I'm pretty sure I can probably eat this, though probably not. That food was okay, but there are foods that you like a lot better. So we could ignore the plankton. You see a whitefish ahead. I don't know what I have for whitefish. Whitefish could probably eat me. And it's deep. Okay, it's just going to stand there. There is no need to escape from that fish. It is harmless to you, so we can ignore the whitefish. And we see a Dolly Varden up ahead. We're going to do the deep escape. That way we can get away from it. Good thinking. That fish might have eaten you. 
You see a group of insects and insect larvae up ahead. We can eat those. And we see a massive algae up ahead. We can eat that actually. Good move. That is one of your favorite foods. You see a group of bottom organisms up ahead. We are going to ignore those. I don't know what's left. I don't think we've seen the osprey yet, and I don't think we've seen the blueback salmon. You can't meet yourself by any means. And given that we the ignored the chub as the blueback salmon, we are going to ignore the blueback salmon as the chub. Good! That fish won't hurt you and it doesn't eat the same food. You see a Mackinac trout ahead. Shallow. I'm guessing the only fish that stays deep is the Mackinac trout and every other fish stays shallow. Once you know that, you know how to escape the how to escape other fish in case you need to. There's an osprey overhead. Deep escape. Wise move. As long as you stay in deep water, it won't get you. You see a rainbow trout ahead. Ignore. Better safe than sorry. It's smart to leave those bigger fish alone. Even though I'm pretty sure the rainbow trout looks like it's big enough to eat you. And by getting the green screen, that means we have finished Go Exploring. We've done all 11 of our encounters. Congratulations, you have survived to a ripe old age as a chub. Maybe you would like to explore Odell Lake again but as a different fish. We're not going to go exploring anymore because I've done two fish. I'm going to do two more fish in the next video. So join me next time where we play as two more fish in Odell Lake and go exploring. I know this is not exactly the most exciting game. And I know that if you're watching from Europe, one of the European countries, you probably know this game from its Commodore 64 version, because that's the only other system this was on. But this game was pretty cool, at least to me, back then. I still kind of have a soft spot for it now. So... Join me next time where I play as two more fish. Until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!